The Ravens are definitely looking for a center in the draft, uh, specifically, but but generally we need uh, interior O-line. Um, but assuming that they go elsewhere in the first round, uh, my, my my speculation is that the Ravens are going to go Chris Lindstrom or perhaps Eric McCoy in the first round. But assuming they didn't, uh, they went with a wide out or an edge guy or something. They're going to be looking for interior O-line in the middle of the draft. We are looking here in this video at Lamont Gilliard. He is a two-year starter at the center position for Georgia. And here we go. We're watching Lamont Gilliard. He is the uh, two-year starting center at Georgia. You see here a pretty good example, uh, both of his athleticism and his um, strength. Um, you can see he's got to get out on this B-gap defender here. He kind of shoots right in, really has the angle on Lamont. So he's asked to make a, a difficult block here, gets into him. You can see him reset his feet. And uh, just great strength in his upper body, particularly his shoulders and his hips. He works uh, and torques this defender around and throws him to the ground. Kind of manages to get this guy a little bit too. But that's that's a block um, It's difficult to get out in front of. And you can see that strength. He quickly turns him uh, and takes him to the ground. Very similar uh, looking block here. He gets into this inside two. He's able to reach and seal him. And I don't know Five's name. Five is no joke, though, for Auburn. And uh, he's probably, he looks like he could be a top 10 or 15 pick in next year's draft if he comes out. Um, again, kind of a difficult block he's asked to, to execute here. But you see the same stuff. Great power. Good athleticism to get out in front of number five here. Great power in his shoulders. And his hips. You see how he keeps working his legs to that side while he turns the defender. Again, that number five is a really, really uh, fine player. Watch it again. Good athleticism. Just turns him away from the play and seals him. We get a, a glimpse of his athleticism here as well. And um, you see him get out, scrape and get out in front of, uh, kind of goes over a gap and a half here. Uh, and the guard to his to his left holds 95 up. He gets out in front of him and seals, and you can see that uh, uh, that alley, that lane that's opened up. But yeah, you get a sense a sense of how um, athletic he is to be able to get out that far and turn. I really like him on this this play. This is uh, Georgia versus Kentucky. Um, I'm not sure who 95 is, but he's <laughs> he's a load. They had a war that uh, that day that's really fun to watch. Um, uh, 95 is, is sort of shading him and, uh, you see, he gets right into him really explosive off the ball, knocks Lamont back just a little bit. See how Lamont lets him knock him backward, but kind of uses his upper body strength to move him down the line a little bit instead of getting blown up into the running backs path instantly he starts kind of driving his legs that direction, uh, with the understanding that he wants to get out in front of him not allow 95 uh, that one to get in front of uh, uh, get out and get the ball carrier really a, a good little war going on here the other thing that's awesome to watch is Lamont's hands you can see in in this one getting into him he gets hands inside and Lamont's arms are way up high outside of the, the uh, tackle here and he, he realizes that right away of course and he just kind of fights to get his arm underneath and inside, and uh, that's great. So you see all this technique at work here. See how he reestablishes re uh, his feet here, and now he can um, drive. He does a good job. That was a tough block to make. That guy uh, initially gets right into him, and uh, he ends up surviving that battle and open up in a nice opening up a nice lane for the back. This is a block here I, I really like. Uh, it's a, a second level um, get of this middle linebacker. And you can see Georgia running that draw play, a draw play, and it freezes the backer just a little bit. So it's a good little play design. Uh, you can see the backer's kind of frozen there. He's waiting. 
once he sees the give, he's downhill really in a flash. So, so back to Lamont. Uh, he kind of sells this draw a little bit. Uh, gets a little piece of the guard here, protects that gap. And then he's after it. You can see the, the, the backer's got an angle, and the backer does a nice job just getting into him. You can see he, he kind of wins that initial contact there, that, that lower leverage. And you can see it almost knocks Lamont uh, Gilliard off his feet. But here again, we see this tremendous upper, or the shoulders and the hips kind of working in tandem to turn this guy just basically off of one leg here. Now, a lot of uh, uh, guards and centers getting on this second level are, are content with just getting on the second level, you know, and, and, and that's their job. They're, they're okay with just getting into the guy enough that the back might slide by. He is not. You know, you can see an example, again, of his strength. He, he makes sure that that, def that defender is not getting back into play. Absolutely turns him and seals him from the play. Get a sense of him uh, moving in space here, uh, how athletic he is as Georgia sets up this, this screen play. You know, he sells that and then gets out in front. He whiffs a little bit on the uh, linebacker. The linebacker, he kind of overruns that in a sense, and the linebacker gets inside of him. But um, um, doesn't give up on him, which is kind of a, um, neat to see. You see him turn, get into the side of this guy, and makes a two-for-one block there. Um, <laughs> pretty fortuitous, you know, that, that, how that, that uh, linebacker he ends up hitting uh, runs into another defender, but uh, he gets both of them. You can see his strength there, uh, kind of reaches out, shoves him. Nice block. One thing I see uh, a few times, and I'll, I'll show you another play that does this, he, he sometimes has um, less awareness about um, linebackers blitzing. You can see here, turns his back and completely misses, gets his quarterback hit there. Um, the linebacker comes right up his gap. And he's in combination with the guard. That's his job to feel that and see that. And I'm not sure if he's making the calls, but he should see that, um, identify that linebacker there. And, you, and like I said, I see it, I've seen it a few times on tape. This is the same game uh, they're, they're playing Texas, and you see the exact same thing. Uh, this time to the other side, where he does not account for uh, a blitzing linebacker. And he turns and, and plays in combination uh, with his guard here. And ultimately, he gets a scrape, but you can see him calling the play or the protection. He and the tackle, tackle discussing the fact um, that they have an outside rusher here. And to me, this is where the back has got to step up. And they have to, have to handle the interior stuff. And Gilliard's got to, call, got to see this linebacker here. He's so close to the line of scrimmage. And it, to me, that says he's really preoccupied. And um, I'm guessing he makes a lot of the protection calls. You can see him identifying that weakness on that side or that overload in terms of what they have to protect. But he it's right in front of him, and he doesn't see it. You can see... Even while he's calling the protection, that linebacker's common. And he just doesn't even turn or have a, doesn't appear to have a, an idea about him coming right up the middle. So Texas brings a good scheme there, um, but there's no accounting again for, for that pressure up the middle. This is from the uh, Georgia-Alabama title game from a year ago. He gets beat up pretty well uh, in the first quarter here. Sometimes he has an ex a tendency to overextend and he'll lunge, and that's what happens here. Gets his quarterback hit there. You do see that on tape on occasion. Like I said, this was a particularly bad quarter for him, first quarter versus Alabama. Here he does a nice job of um, help. And he stays home just to make sure no, there's no um, linebacker or safety blitz up the middle. And he correctly does a nice job identifying his guard being beat by 94. And good athleticism to get out in front of that. And he 
you can see the uh, the quarterback delivers a nice ball downfield. It's a nice look at him in pass protection against a good uh, quality defender. <laughs> you see a, a, on display here this strength, also kind of a toughness. You can see 94 pretty much um, kind of stalling there. Gets his hands inside of him, keeps his legs moving, stays out in front. Kind of reestablishes his base. Quarterback goes to step up, and you can see his strength there. He yanks 94 to the ground. 94 kind of makes an effort to get his legs out in front of the play. But, yeah, nice, nice job one-on-one -on -one in pass protection against a quality defender there.